Hey everybody, it's Joel, J-A-R-C-02, and what you're looking at is just a collection of some Red Lines cases. Um, I know I've gone over these in my what in the, What's in the Box videos, but I thought we would take a look at all of them together. Now, all these cases are from the Red Line era, from various... Uh, parts of the red line area and these are not all the cases that I have I did not include the cases where I keep my rumblers I got two different rumblers cases and there's a few cases I don't have um, I don't think I have the case for the hot birds and um, I'm not talking about the Pontiac Firebird hot bird hot wheel I'm talking about the uh, um, uh, they used to make these die-cast metal planes uh, back in the early 70s, and they called them hot birds, and they had a case for those. Um, <clears throat> in any case, uh, we'll take a look at these cases and see what the features are, um, see what they have, take a look at the graphics. Um, and I just thought it'd be neat to uh, to take a look at. Uh, I don't have it memorized when these were all released, but um, we'll take a look at the dates and everything on the cases and see if we can determine that. All right, so let me set the phone down. I'm trying to make this so it doesn't. All right, um, this is a case that I got on eBay. Now that you saw them all, we'll just let them fall. That's not a big deal. Um, so I know I got this on eBay. Uh, only a few of these cases were my original case when I was a kid. All right. Um, so this is a 12-car collector's case. And this is copyrighted 1968 Mattel. So it probably came out in 69. Could have been 68, but probably 69. Graphics are the same, both sides. Uh, if you hear some noise in the background, that's my Marty going for his bones in the uh, dog bin. Um, these slots right here, these are for um, dividers because you could adjust this case any way you want it. But they advertise 12 cars, okay? So... Um, the other thing that you could use, and I'll show you when I get to it, I'll pull this one back out, is um, uh, the pins that they gave, the metal ones, you could use those as dividers too. Um, and it comes with the, uh, the swivel uh, metal latch right here, okay, which is kind of cool. All right, so that's a 12-car adjustable compartment case. Um... Let's go with this one here. It's kind of unique. This is a pop-up case. And I'll try and make some room here. Uh, I'm not really going in any particular order with these cases, okay, as far as years. I'm just trying to clear out the front ones because I put the big ones in the back. Um, so here's the scene. Pop-up 12-car collector's case. Can make a list of the cars in the back. Snap front. Uh, I do have cars in here. Uh, we've taken a look at these cars in the past. Uh, so I'm not going to pull those out right now. Um, there's no dividers for these two. Um, to take a closer look i'm not sure that might i don't know if it came like that or if it was cut by the person who had it before me uh to allow for something bigger all right um anyway but this pops up into a race stand and here's a parking lot for the garage So um, there's tabs here where you could add um, 
track to it. So you could add the orange track to this. Uh, I'm not going to do it because, you know, it's it's a little bit damaged here in this particular case. And it is kind of dirty as well. So, um, so it's not in the best shape. Uh, again, this was an eBay purchase from years ago. All right, so they had these pop-up cases. Uh, it'd be kind of neat if they would come out with these again, especially since it's the 50th anniversary. Um, if they don't already have them in the works, I don't think they're going to do it now. And it appears that I accidentally damaged this in storage, so that's unfortunate. All right, so we've got the 12-car pop-up case. Oh, let's take a look and see if we can find the date on here. Uh, this is 1967 Mattel, so um, 1968 it came out, it's copyright 1967, so they already had these in the works when, uh, when Mattel started. Alright, so set that aside. Alright, two of these cases. All right. Now, this one here is a 24-car collector's case and a 12-car collector's case. Uh, no difference in the graphics. Uh, the one on the left here, the 24-car collector's case, is uh, one of mine from when I was a kid. And the 12-car one I bought at the convention. Um, again, these uh, older ones, they're dirty. Um, they could really you know, stand the cleaning. And the copyright on the... Uh, 12 car, I'm sorry, the 24 car is 1975, so they came out in 76, and the copyright date on the 12 car one is 1975, so I don't know if you can see that there with this type of lighting I have tonight, all right, um, so again, it came out in 76, and this is from the Flying Colors era, if you haven't been able to tell yet, but they are red line cases. You can see the vehicles have red lines, okay? So the pictures have the red lines on them. Um, the 12 car case is not adjustable, all right? It's just, uh, I got some red lines in here, and again, these were the red lines that I purchased at the convention, so there's another video on that. Um, but <clears throat> Not adjustable compartments in that, all right? The 24 car collector's case, I have two of these 24 car collector's cases, but the other one, the handle broke. It got fragile, it cracked, it completely broke. So I don't have a handle, but there's no difference between this case and the other case. Um, these come with two pull-out trays, all right, so, 12 cars each in the trays. And then um, here's a collector's catalog. I think it might have come with the original case because I was checking off what I had. So, um, Fire Reader. I didn't have any of the sets from the era. Uh, pack and Pacer I have. Odd Rod. Um, I got the Odd Rod with the yellow body. And uh, the Prowler, the Chrome Prowler. I have the Street Rotor. Street Rotter. Uh, race Bait. 308. American Victory, I've got the blue one. Uh, oddly enough, they're showing the less common one on here for the uh, Odd Rod and the uh, American Victory. Ice Tea, uh, Ramblin' Wrecker. Um, the picture and plus my Ramblin' Wreckers have Larry Wood's phone number on there. Uh, Teetotaler, I have that. The 31 Doozy, Alive 55, you know, from the Super Chrome series. Uh, 57 T-Bird, A-OK, -OK, Maxi Taxi, 
the popular 57 Chevy, Funny Money, um, Z Wiz for you uh, JDM fans, at the um, 240Z, Super Van, um, Second Wind, looks a lot like the Speed Racer car, the Mach 5, Stage Fright. Paddy Wagon, uh, Buzz Off. I don't remember getting the Super Chrome's Buzz Off. I might have put a check there because I had um, the precursor to that. Um, uh, Formula Pack, have that. I have Formula 5000. The Monte Carlo Stalker, the Torino Stalker, the Mercedes C111, the P17, and the Army Funny Car. Alright, so, um, and then I got the patches. Alright, but um, this must have come with it because I had it at the bottom of the case. Uh, got myself a note in here. Uh, this is just some information from um, trying to inventory what I had and taking a look at some stuff. Um, and these are some of the cars they listed, Packed and Pacer. Um, we took a look at these in my original. Um, like here's my odd ride. It's got the yellow body. In my original video... Uh, my very first video, I did a 40-minute video on my uh, original cars. Here's the Z-Wiz, and that's a red line. Uh, metal body, metal base. All right, so I don't want to actually rehash it. Uh, here's a uh, second wind. Black wool. Uh, Corvette Stingray, red line. Stage Fright to Black Wall. And then the L Ray Special, that's from the uh, Flying Colors. Uh, that's a red line. Here's my Redline 57 Chevy, my original Redline 57 Chevy. And my Monte Carlo Stalker. And this is based on the Monte Carlo Stalker. It says flying low. I forget if that's the actual name or not. Torino Stalker Red Line. All right, so this was during a time when uh, American Victory. All right. And uh, Dumpin' A, I think this is. Joe Mary Woods design. Uh, still made in Hong Kong. Doesn't have a name on the base, so I think that's dumping A or something like that. I don't know. Um, Super Chromes, a live 55, uh, black wall. And, uh, <clears throat> heavy Chevy. They're still calling this is Heavy Chevy. Um, Super Chrome. Uh, black wall. All right. All right, so that's just that one tray. I'm not going to go do the other tray, all right? So like I said, some of these have cars, some of them do not. Um, I'm sorry about that. This is driving up a wall. Don't really have a good place to film stuff. All right. Well, all this one fell down. Um... I think I got this at a good price on eBay. Um, this is 
uh, one of two sizes for the rally case. All right, so they just call this one the rally case. Um, let's see here. If it's got any 1967. It does have the date right there. 1967. All right, so this came out in um, 68. So the case is 50 years old. It's got one single catch here and a carry handle. All right, and I've got some, um, these tiny little ones here. These were like shell cars, dead shell. Um, Seasider. I got the boat, but the boat keeps coming out. All right. So. Um, this I got on eBay. Uh, quad rod. Is that what it is? Mod quad. Okay, and this has a open canopy. It opens up. It's a quad rod. And then I have um, the custom fleet side based on a um, El Camino. Harry Bradley's uh, El Camino. Very first car design for Hot Wheels. Uh, it's got pictures of the original 16 inside. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's a 12 car case. All right. So, it's missing uh, four cars. Um, the middle, right here. has a place where you can put buttons and that's what I'm using it for is I have some buttons in here. Um, now here's what you do with the buttons with this case. Oops, wrong one. That's the pop-up case that had doesn't have the dividers. Uh, adjustable dividers. First case is this one here. All right. And you can't do this with the plastic buttons. You can only do this. Oh, if I can get this out. It, um, that's broken on the back. I don't think you can use the plastic buttons to do it. Okay. But you can put use these as dividers. They would fit inside and you would use these as the dividers. Now, the plastic buttons, um, they fit in between, they're fitting in between but they don't go, they don't go all the way down really. All right, so, <clears throat> oh, and with the, uh, I guess you could do it with the plastic ones too, but in the event that you didn't need it for a divider, you take it with the tab and you just put it over the edge like that and you keep it with your car. So, That is how you can use the buttons. They had a dual purpose. Okay. All right. So this is this is what's on the back. Uh, just paper sticker. Um, now that's written in a different language. I didn't notice before. Millet pour. 12 autos par Mattel. Um, 
So I don't know if they were all like that, in, or if this is a French case or something, or a uh, Canadian. Um, made in USA. Now, I pretty much got this for a halfway decent price. I got two of these. Uh, on eBay, I got this one and a bigger one, the Super Rally case. And uh, I'll show you that one uh, soon enough. But uh, I actually wanted to use it as a case, so as long as the, the, the latch worked, then these do tend to wear. But after 50 years, this is still, still very good. Still working. All right. This case here, um, this is a red line case too. The picture shows a red line. And this is, this has a date stamp in 1973 for the copyright date. Okay. So, um, I think there is a blue one and possibly a yellow one like this too. All right, so um, car short in here. And then uh, we've got another button in here. So um, I remember buying this on eBay. This is the modded Zerazi Estrell. Uh, made in Hong Kong. Okay. Um, so Maserati. Uh, I bought this on eBay. Uh, come over here and uh, get more light. I'm slide myself over. Maybe that's a little bit better. So I got a purple um, Nomad. And they're calling it the classic Nomad. Okay, still got an opening hood. All right. Um, so that's a cool one. Uh, confused this one. This is Toreo in orange. And I always confuse it with this one because they look similar. This is a turbo fire. Wheel back here, little jacks. And this looks like it's in uh, gold or lime green. Um, this actually has paint on it. I forget what this is. McLaren. Okay. I think that's the McLaren MK1 or something. Uh, this one. Uh, Ford. J car. Heavyweights cab. Um, two Shelby turbo turbines. Shelby turbo, Shelby turbine. Purple. And then I got another one.
blue. Yeah, it looks like Shelby Turbine. And the last one I have in here uh, with a tag, or I'm sorry, uh, Chaparral 2G, but it's missing on the wing. Okay, here's the pin for it that came with it. Just missing the wing. So, Chaparral. And again, I showed all this stuff in my uh, very first video. But since then, I had put this stuff in different uh, containers. Now, this case here, I don't know if this came in a 24 car case or not. So, I'm guessing it did. But I was able to get this one on eBay. So, uh, again, these are pretty much all eBay purchases except for except for uh, the two of them that I have out here that I already stated were mine which were Flying Colors era cases um, I put this out here to highlight the difference in the style of the case okay because this has a raised like a uh, mag style hubcap as opposed to this one which has a decal of a mag wheel um, and this was a Revers team case so uh, Revers came out during the red line era so but you could use this there's no difference in the interior of this case to um, the other case so um, this holds Revers rumblers and hot wheels vehicles and that's copyrighted 1972 okay one there and it's still made in the usa sorry sorry about that apologize i really don't have a good method for putting this stuff up And it still has a copyright in 1967, right here under the word team. So I don't know, maybe you could see that. I know it's on the side, but um, same latch. They took out the sticker here, okay? Um, the interior, you can see where they attached the, uh, the plastic piece out on the outside as opposed to this one. Yeah, I'm sorry I keep dropping the phone. I apologize. All right. So you can see the difference. Um, there's a broken piece right here. Uh, maybe that's not broken by me. Maybe it's like that on purpose to put the bikes in. Okay, so maybe that is a change. I don't... I think that's a change to put the bikes in for the rumblers, all right, and the riders. All right, so that's the big change. Um, other than that, see, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Well, if you wanted to combine two cars in here, you could put 12 cars in here, just like this case here, all right? <coughs> so, um, <coughs> this one came out in 72 or 73 when they had the Revers. Again, eBay purchase, put this down. This is a 24 car case. Kind of like it. It's got good graphics. 
has adjustable compartments. And this is copyrighted in 1968, so it probably came out in 69. At 5144 is like a stock number or something. You'll see that um, listed on some stuff. All right. And then it's got this, you know, little twist latch here. And you see the adjustable compartments right here. This is, this is what they look like. So. <clears throat> so I didn't clean these up. <coughs> I just put them in the storage after I got them on eBay. But they advertise this as 24 cars. But if you had small cars, you could, you know, probably put a couple more in. All right. So, the size between that and the 12 car, so you can see the difference. All right. So there's the difference between the two. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, all right, um, this case right here, <coughs> this case right here was my original case. It was given to me as a uh, holiday present. Um, this scratch mark right here has been on there the entire time I had it. That's where the store that my mother purchased this in had their price sticker, and she tried to take it off, and it took off the uh, the paper. So that's not something I did. That's from the price sticker that was on there. All right, so this is a super rally case is what they called this. You see the difference between just the rally case, okay? Back up here, it's a super rally case. This has three latches, one on each side in the front, and the uh, the handle. Uh, no sticker, and you can see what kind of cars you can get in there. The round area in the middle is a lot bigger, so you could stick some small cars in there. All right, again, we took a look at these cars. These were my original red lines. Most of them uh, are red lines, I think, and uh, I'm not going to go through those again. Uh, nothing on the back. Okay, it's supposed to be like that. Um, made in the USA still. Manufactured for Mattel. Copyright is 1968, so it came out in 69. But I think I got this during the, uh, um, the Flying Colors era. I don't think I had this during the red line era because I think this case with that sticker came out a lot later. Um, I have to check into that. <clears throat> Here's another Super Rally case. Um, this one has the same type of wheel as the Revers case. <clears throat> Except if you notice, that's a white line around it, just like the other case right there. This has a red line. Do have dirt on them. Um, I bought this one and the other sm the other uh, small rally case together. I think I got them for twenty five dollars, maybe thirty five shipped. Same thing, three latches. I'm using these to store cars. Um, this one I just happen to use to store um, uh, some cars that I opened up with. Uh, These are mostly uh, 
pop culture stuff, some other various stuff. All right. This 24 car case, again, graphics are okay. Just like I said, this stuff is just dirty. Um, I just, cleaning's not my thing. It's got a couple splits. Um, I think they were there when I had it. Uh, copyright 1967, so it came out in 68. Um, this has a snap, and this is a little weak right here because this is a little damaged. This is a snap. And you could list your cars. This person did try listing the cars, the little boy who had this. All right. And this is cool because it's got this cover here, this plastic cover to keep your cars good. Uh, not adjustable, but uh, 24 cars. All right. <clears throat> All right. This is, again, dirty. Stores 48 cars. And it's copyright 1969, so it came out in 70. This is a sticker they put on there so they could sell it in the store. So it was a Hot Wheels sticker that put it on here, and the store could put their price there. Here's the other side. All right, this folds down, and you get four stacks. And I've got some... Um, those are my revealers in there. All right, so. <clears throat> and there you go, that's that one. This one, um, it's got a lot of stickers on it. So the person who owned this put a lot of stickers on it. Um, I left it there because a little kid took a lot of trouble to put stickers on here and he did it for a reason and they're all racing related car related um, so I didn't want to clean them off because he obviously had fun with this but this is the mongoose and snake one Here's the uh, graphic on the back. And then he put this information in the front. He cut this off, off the back of the cars, things to collect. Looks like he was um, checking off what he had or wanted. Don't know which one. So if you can kind of see where the little check marks are, dashes. He's got a little blurb here about um, Don Prudhomme and uh, Tom McEwen, Snake and Mongoose. And he put a little funny uh, sticker in here of uh, the devil riding a hot rod on fire. All right, so this is 72 car case and this has just these non-adjustable Plastic wire mesh on the bottom uh, racks, six of them stacked up. All right, so very good to store your cars. Uh, you even got a sticker on top of the button there, I didn't notice. Um, again, eBay purchase. All right, and what do you want for 50 some year old plastic? Okay. So, um, and this is coming off the 
this is 1960. <clears throat> So it came out in 70, I guess. I don't know. And sorry about making this so long. I didn't think it was going to be this long. Um, this is actually my favorite of the bunch, even though it just got a little bit dirty in storage. Um, this was new old stock. This is a 24 car collector's case, adjustable compartments, uh, different than the other one. Now it's not the same as the other one okay exactly the same as the other one but this one here is new old stock all right so this is my favorite of the bunch because it's never been used Did get a little dirty. I don't see any splits or anything in it. Um, hang tag I keep inside here, you know, to kind of keep it from getting ruined. Uh, it still has the dividers um, that are like kind of sitting underneath here, stuck still in the uh, the package. So. That's why I don't use this. This is new old stock. And uh, you can look how they have it displayed. They have it displayed it's sitting like this. Okay, or like this. All right, so that would hang on the outside, the hang tag. So here's the original hang tag. Tells you how to put your stuff in. You can use the uh, the tabs that came with the uh, the buttons that came with it. There's the uh, model stock number up there. So I don't know what these went for, brand new in the store, you know, like Sears or um, I guess Sears and Roebuck, Montgomery Ward um, would be the big national ones. Um, Kmart, uh, when I was in the Red Line era, it was Grant's, two guys. They had it. All right. Um, like I said, new old stock. I don't remember what I paid for it. I really, really don't remember, but um, just dirty from being in storage, so I could clean this up a little bit. Anyway, um, thanks for checking out. Sorry it took so long. I didn't mean for it to take this long. I thought it would only take half the time, but uh, I thought it'd be interesting to go through the different cases, at least the ones that I have. Uh, I know there's cases I don't have. Um, any case... Uh, let me know what you have. Let me know what you liked, didn't like. And um, I hope you all uh, have a good week. Take care. Thanks for watching. And talk to you next time.